Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on my Nepenthes. I have nine of these plants and I just wanted to bring this guy out just to show you guys what he looks like in the sun. Um, because every time I do a video they are in the in the little indoor uh, greenhouse type thing I have going on so they, the light makes it hard to, to see. And um, so I just wanted to show you guys what's going on. This is one of my first ones, one of my first Nepenthes. And when I got him, he was actually inside one of those death boxes and he was bright green and he had no pictures, zero. He had like something that looked like this when I first got him, which is a picture of coming, but I didn't know that. And so I had them outside at first because I know that the natural light is best for them, but you know, the fall was here and we're not getting as much sunlight. So I decided to make them an indoor little area because it's becoming cold in Las Vegas and these types of plants like to stay warm. Um, they cannot handle the freezing temperatures. I have them in just the long fibered sphagnum moss and I keep them under the light for 12 hours a day. I think I have it set for seven to seven. You can do more if you want, um, but I just have it set on that schedule and they seem to be doing great. All nine of them have brand new pictures, tons of them actually, tons of them, and they're giant, and they're just constantly producing more and more pictures. So I know that they're happy. The tint of red is because they're getting a great amount of lighting. So with the carnivorous plants, when they have lots of light, they turn a, turn a blush red and, um, that means you're doing really good with the lighting. I mean, you can keep them in a greenhouse and you can keep them, um, a lot of them are green, but it's better when you have this color. So let's see, I wanted to show you something so cool. Oh yeah, this is cool too. I wanted to show you, this is a baby. This is a baby picture. He's starting out, isn't it cute? I can't stand it, I love it. And like I said, when I got him, he only had a few tips that looked just like this. So I was nervous. I was like, is that normal? Is this right? How is that going to become a picture? I was like, no way. But after tons of research and care, I'm growing picture after picture after picture. Now they say don't change the environment if they're happy because they will stress. They have to acclimate. But these guys didn't seem to stress at all. I put them in a new pot right when I got them and stuck them in the, under the light. And I spray just the pictures. I spray the pictures during the day, just the pictures. You don't want them to rot in the ground. So um, I do help with moisture because I live in Vegas. It's very, very dry here. So I do not add water to the pictures. I know that there's a lot of people that say that they add liquid, add water to the pitcher um, because it's so dry and in some places it won't produce its natural uh, liquid, the venom inside or whatever it's called. Can you see it moving? So he's formed his liquid all by himself. That's why I like to sit them in my medium right here because it helps with uh, humidity for me here in Vegas. So when I see them long like this, um, and while my plant's small enough to do this, I just try to take them up here and boop, stick them in the little medium in a little, in a little spot for them. And they stay in there and then they, they just grow back up, see? It doesn't matter which way you put them. They find their way to grow back up. And, um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you inside this guy. It's so amazing. You can see right in him, all his bugs. So let's see if I can get a good shot for you guys. My phone is just terrible, but I don't know if you can see because I'm in the sun. Let me get some shade here so I can get a good focus. Here we go. Ew, look. Can you see all those bugs in there? They're floating. So look at this shiny stuff on the front of my tra of my picture here. See that? That's the nectar. So they release this nectar that drips all down the outside and the rim, and it smells so good to the flies and the little gnats. It smells so yummy they can't resist. So they climb up this, and then they get to the top rim here, and it's slippery and sticky, 
and they fall in. And when they fall in, they fall into that venom right there. And they all drowned. And once they drowned, the plant can then digest the nutrients from the bug, the nitrogen and everything that they need to survive and grow. Now, everyone, well, not everyone, sorry. A lot of people think that you have to feed these plants bugs or they're not gonna survive, which is not true. I've never fed them once, ever. All they need is some proper lighting and humidity and they will do just fine. You do not have to fertilize them. I feel that fertilizing plants like this is uh, bad for them, but a lot of people say you can put vermiculite and stuff in there, but I just want to keep it as natural as it's, as where it comes from, you know, because nobody is putting fertilizer in their, in their pitchers in the wild. So I'm just trying to make it as natural as possible, and I just want to show you how beautiful my pitchers are, and they're not giant yet. I cannot wait till that happens probably next year maybe but I am very proud of the sizes that they are turning out to become this is one of the when he first started making pictures see how little and then now look the pictures are giant they're getting so big and I have other plants with even bigger pictures it's so cool I love it I figured you guys would enjoy okay I grabbed a couple more because I just wanted to show you guys because they're all doing so amazing. And this one is a really big picture. I love it. He's so giant. We got babies too. Little red babies. I love it. Let's see if we can see inside this guy. He's full. So he has lots of hairs on him. Look. See all his little hairs? He's big and mature. And he likes to give the bugs a little ladder to climb up. <laughs> so let's see if we can see inside this guy. Probably not, his top isn't open high enough. But this guy, oh wait, he looks like his is. Oh yeah, why is my... So I think you can see in there. Maybe if I do some shadow, you can see him better. Let's go. can't tell if you can see because it is bright out. Let's put some light on there. There we go. Let's see. Maybe a little. Nope, but that's okay. So look how big this new guy is. He's going to outgrow his little hut right here. And he hasn't popped a top yet. And so yeah, this is just so exciting for me, guys. I love to show them off very proud of myself. I feel like I did a good job with these guys and you know I'm a noob so I feel like I'm doing something right. Pretty exciting. Until next time.